coalition of over 92 civil society organizations in Nigeria, under the aegis of the Center for Credible Leadership and Citizens Awareness, hereby present to His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Barrister Henry Sira Dixon, for his Transparency in Leadership Merit Award 2022. <laughs> The Director General of the Center for Credible Leadership and Citizens Awareness, Dr. Wambu, and members of his team who are representing the civil society organizations that are organizing this event. Let me recognize the press corps who are here doing a good job. I thank you all for the great work you have all been doing uh, in service of our country, in service of our democracy. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, first, on behalf of my family and on behalf of the government that I led in Bayelsa as governor for eight years, all those who served in that government, which we called the Restoration Government for eight years. And on behalf of the good people who gave us the mandate and supported us through for eight years, through thick and thin, first governor for eight years in my state, I want to thank you, the Director General, and members representing all the civil society organizations who are organizers of this event, and all of you who are assembled here today um, to witness the presentation of this award. First, I would like to dedicate this award to my team, the members of the restoration team, from the deputy governor down to the least person, the commissioner for finance, all the commissioners, all the special advisors, all the senior citizens who supported. And let me also say that I'm grateful to all those who criticize as well, and those who oppose. <laughs> who criticize hard and oppose hard uh, to make me and my team be on our toes for eight years. I want to thank you the civil, all the civil society organizations, and I'm seeing you for the first time here. I didn't know that civil society organizations do things like this. I thought they only criticize us. <laughs> they only oppose us and call us names. But when I got this notification uh, to come for this event, I didn't know that it will be this elaborate. And so I want to thank all the NGOs uh, and urge you to not only criticize and oppose, because that's a legitimate part of what you have to do, but also where we try to make a difference. And I'm not alone in this. Uh, I'm happy that you are signaling that out for recognition and appreciation. Public servants like I am, uh, are not all devils in our country. This country still has a reservoir of good people, men and women from all parts of our country, across all age brackets, in all professions, who are working hard to make a difference. We know that the general perception 
The perception out there um, is the opposite. But I want to caution ourselves. Nation building cannot be done by one good person. It is when one good person meets another good person and all of them doing their bit as police officers on the streets, as customs officers, as military personnel, as teachers, as doctors, as pharmacists, as pressmen and women, as governors, as lawmakers, as ambassadors, it is the total aggregation, including those in the business community, it is the sum total of all of this that determines whether a nation is moving forward or not. So I call on Nigerians. Yes, public servants are not devils. Where we make mistakes, yes, they criticize it. But then the little things we do that add value is good to do what the civil society organizations today uh, are doing. I thank you all, particularly the DG and civil society groups for pointing out the very modest contribution that I and the team that I put together. Well, teamwork is very important. Success or failure of any leader begins with team. Team selection. I was only leader of a team that was carefully selected. Uh, I want to thank you for recognizing our modest contribution in advancing the frontiers of transparency and promoting public integrity. Uh, people are not saints. They may err. We'll all err. But then, let it be said, let it be said that in offices, any office you hold, that you try your best to promote public accountability uh, while not being perfect promote public accountability. That was a little bit we tried to do. The transparency law, up till now, even 10 years after, still remains innovative. So I want to recommend it to most states. You know, it doesn't mean that things are not done properly. It only empowers the citizens to know the good things and the proper things that have been done. Recognizing, as I always said, the most important right in a democracy, which is the right of the people to know, that was what this law and all the measures, administrative and otherwise, that we put together were meant to reinforce. It all reinforced the right of the people to know. I believe that people in our various states and across this country, and even in Nigeria, have a right to know decisions, financial and otherwise, that are taken on their behalf. And we should do away with secrecy. We have done well as a nation by passing the FOI bill, FOI law. But then, if you add its transparency bill to all of that in the various states and local governments in the little way we did in Bayelsa, uh, it will make a difference. Bayelsa up till today operates this law, and the current government also tries their best to operate the law. Just two days or so ago, I read a transparency report. Bayelsans have come to expect it. They are used to it. They now demand it. And the government, to the best of my knowledge back home, government that uh, took over from me, is also continuing with that. It's also continuing with that. And the law not only regulates the state house, the state uh, assembly. It's not about the state governor. It's also about the chairman of councils. Yes, we never deducted any cover from the allocations for eight years. We didn't need that. But we had to set a template around which they themselves, in exercising that financial autonomy which they have, Still in Bayelsa. Bayelsa councils are financially autonomous because of the standards we did for eight years. So even after me, the new government too, 
I don't believe they're interfering with state uh, local government funds because the standards have been set and reinforced. But they ought to comply with the transparency law. So I want to thank you all uh, for recognizing this little, um, little uh, contribution, modest contribution that uh, I and my team made in promoting the idea of transparency in public office. I thank you all for coming, and may God continue to bless us. Thank you, and God bless you. Being a partisan politician, I don't know how happy these times are. <laughs>